So for today, I'm, I'm going to show you on how to solve a linear programming problem using your software. So suppose we have this uh, particular problem. The objective function is to maximize 7x plus 5y. And then we have the following constraints. So actually, we have four constraints here. We have 1, 2, and then 3 and 4, the x and y variable, the, the non-negativity of variable. So the question is, what is the optimal solution of this particular problem? Okay, so we try to open the software in your laptop. So this one, so QM for Windows version 5. So click this app. Okay. Okay, so we try to look into the linear programming models here on the left side. So we have here under under the inventory control problem. So we have here linear programming. So just click this one. Okay, and then this will pop up in your menu. Okay, so we have title. So you may also write uh, problem number one. Problem one. Okay. So may, uh, you may or may not uh, write the title of this problem. Then we have number of constraints. So as you can see, we have four constraints here. So we have one, two, and then the non-negative variable, we have two here. So one, two, three, four. So we have four, four constraints. And of course, we have only two variables, the x and y variable. And then the objective function, okay, so it's... Since the problem is maximized, so we have to click maximize here. And just click OK. Okay, so here we go. So we have the equation form as the objective function on the, um, the equation form here, which is um, maximize says here. Okay. So this variable, you can also uh, change this one into x and y variable. So you may or may not change the variable. Okay, so we try to change it, x, x and y. Then maximize what would be our uh, objective function. So 7x plus 5y. So of course, uh, we only write the numerical value of the objective function. We have the numerical value for set of our x variable is 7, and then for y variable is 5. So we write the numerical value, 5, 7. So as you can see, we have now here uh, maximize 5x plus 7y as the equation form of our objective function. And then we move to our constraint. So constraint number 1, so we have... So we change the 7, 5. Okay, and then constraint number 1. So we have here 4x plus 3y is less than or equal to 240. So again, we write the numerical value of this equation. So we have 4, 3, and 240. Okay, so you may also check if the equation is correct, okay? So we have 4x plus 3y is less than or equal to 40. In case this is a greater than, so we may also change the inequality here, okay? So we have greater than or equal to, okay? And then second constraint, we have 2x plus y is less than or equal to 100. So that the numerical variable for x is 2 and then for y is 1. And then we have 100 as the value. So we have 2, 1, and then 100. Okay. So we have now 2x plus y is less than or equal to 0. And then we have the last two variables, the non-negativity of variables. We have x and y are greater than or equal to 0. Of course, the numerical value for x is 1, and then for y is also 1. So x is 1. Then we change the inequality into greater than or equal to Okay. So as you can see, we have now here the correct equation form x is greater than or equal to 0. And then for y, 1, then greater than or equal to 0. So all the equations now are correct. Okay. So we try to check if we have 
uh, if we attain uh, the same objective function and constraints. So we have 7x plus 5y. Okay, we check. Okay, 7x plus 5y. Then we have two constraints, 4x plus 3y, then 2x plus y. Okay? Then after that, we try to, uh, on the upper part of this uh, window of this software, so you can see solve here. Solve problem. So click this, uh, this one. Okay, solve problem. Okay? So we have here now the output of our equation. So let's try to see the graph. Okay? So this is the graph of the uh, given equation. So we have uh, the shaded part as the, the, what you call this one, visible region. And then the, on the right side, you, you can see the corner points. So we have uh, 0, 0, 0, 80, 50, 0, and 30, 40. This 30, 40 now is located here at the intersection of the two constraints. Okay. So in other words, in the objective function, okay, 7x plus 5y, if x and y are 0, then z is 0. If x is 0, and uh, y is 80, then we have 400. But if x is 50 and y is 0, then we have 350. But if x and y is 30 and 40 respectively, then we have 410. So these are what we call the corner points of the given problem. So the corner points is found on the feasible region here. We have uh, 0, 080, uh, 0, 0, we have uh, 50, 0, and we have 30, 40. So since our problem here is maximization, of course, we try to consider the maximum value of z, which is 410. So in, in other words, the optimal solution now would be x is equal to 30 and y is equal to 40 and z is 410. So this is the answer of our problem here. Okay.